Hi, this is Anne sharing the construction of my small art quilt bamboo. I began with the Jelly Arts printing plate and acrylic paint. I wanted a lot of texture so I used my fingers instead of a brayer to apply a somewhat thick layer of paint to the plate. Using a homemade stencil, I pressed and tapped, creating texture for the background. Then I laid a piece of cotton fabric on the gel plate. Gently rubbed and carefully peeled it up. Set it aside while I washed the stencil. Then I placed a padded surface under the fabric. I used the same stencil to create the bamboo print. To make the stencil, I drew a design on paper, then transferred it to the stencil plastic and used a heat tool to cut it out. The padded underlayment makes it easier to do the stencil on it and the fabric accepts the paint better. Didn't have any set plan, I just put the stencil where I thought it would look good, moved it around. Could have washed it and flipped it over to change the, the design a little bit more, but it seemed to find the way it was. So when that stencil is finished, I removed the padded underlayment and taped the fabric back down. And using a Chinese paintbrush, I painted bamboo stalks and branches. This video won't teach you how to use the Chinese paintbrush in the correct way. There are great videos on YouTube for that. I will say that it works differently on fabric. The paint can't be moved or lifted as it could be on paper. Here I'm painting a few more little branches. Sorry about blocking the view. Now when this is done, I will take it to my cutting table, and square up the center, and then after selecting fabric for the inside border, I will attach the inside border on the, top, the sides first and then the top and the bottom and then I will attach my out outer border which I butted because I didn't have enough fabric to miter otherwise I probably would have mitered the corners. I used a temporary spray based and the top was sandwiched with backing and a thin layer of cotton batting. The next step is I took it to my regular sewing machine and I stitched in the ditch around the little black border and then an eighth of an inch in from the very outside. Now I'm at my Handy Quilter Sweet 16, which is my quilting machine that I just love for these small art quilts. I tried to keep the design continuous as possible, but I did have to make some starts and stops and jump across. I'm just following the print and then echoing that design in the background, leaves and branches. As with uh, many of my art quilts, I learned a few things while making this piece, and I think, uh, hindsight, I would not repeat the bamboo design so much in the quilting, but instead I would quilt around the painted part and then probably quilt a small meandering or a stipple stitch over the background. There was so much going on in the quilting in the center, um, I decided not to quilt the outside border. It was only about two inches wide, so it was fine without the quilting in it. So after the quilting was finished, I trimmed it and then I added my, what will be my uh, butted quarter binding. And if you're interested in that, I have a video link in the description that makes a really nice finish on these small art quilts. It finished about 16 by 14 inches. I hope this gave you some ideas to try. I'll be posting more fiber art and fabric painting videos. To see more of my work, please visit my website. Thanks for watching.